I'm going to show you how to use spaghetti squash instead of regular spaghetti, but to eat it just like it's spaghetti. So you're getting a vegetable instead of pasta to act like a pasta so it's more nutritious and you don't have the bulk of the pasta that you're eating. It's really delicious and it's easy to make. I cooked the spaghetti squash in a steamer basket. Mine looks like this. And the first thing I'm going to do is set this pot of water and put it on high. And now I'm going to get ready and slice up the squash. So here's my spaghetti squash. And I always cut off the ends to make it easier to work with. Now I've seen some people stand it up on end like this and then just cut it through. I don't know that I'm strong enough to do that. You could also score it just to um, have some lines ready here. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I can do it this way. And you want it in two long pieces. There we go. Now the next thing you need to do is to get rid of all of this inner part. If you like the seeds, you can clean them off and dry them and bake them, just like you would pumpkin seeds. I like to start it off by slicing it with a knife and then you can use a fork or a spoon to get it out. Okay. And you want to do both halves like this. Or here's a spoon that can end up cleaning it up. So you want all this stringy stuff out of here, like I'm doing here, okay, as much as possible. And then do the other half um, just like you did this one. Once the water is boiling, put your um, two halves that have been cleaned out inside. Now, I have a very small spaghetti squash here, so both pieces fit, but I have bought large ones before where only one half Fits, and I can only steam one half at a time, which is fine. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes. Okay, and the other thing is, I've realized that sometimes the thing is boiling so rapidly that it starts to get a little too low on water. So I have another timer that I'm going to set for 20 minutes, and I'm going to check the water level at that time. So we'll come back. After 20 gone. minutes have gone by, so I'm going to check the level of the water, and there's still plenty in there, so we're good. And we have about 10 minutes to go. The squash is done, and what I do is I take it out and um, test it. Sometimes um, with some squashes, 30 minutes isn't enough, but this one is enough. And I just use a fork to peel it out, and it comes out in strands like spaghetti, and then I just put it in bowls to serve it. And you just keep scraping it till it's almost down to an empty shell. So I'm going to serve this in a pasta bowl, just like if it was regular pasta. And last, I like to serve it just like I would any pasta with some marinara sauce. Check out my recipe for a thick marinara sauce on this channel.